positives. Pete Carroll, uh, let Pete cook, has a formula. Now, we talked about Green Bay having an identity. Seattle has more of a formula. Lean into the run game when Kenneth Walker is healthy. Limit the number of throws Geno Smith makes. 35 or fewer. Run heavy. Lean downhill. Play very aggressive Pete Carroll defense. Pete's had an amazing rebound year. GM John Snyder hit a home run. Maybe the best draft in Seattle in a decade. Uh, And this is their formula. Now, they don't control their playoff hopes. They can win and still not make it. If Green Bay beats Detroit, my guess is they will. Seattle's out. But it's been a great year, and it's a very, very healthy roster. And unlike baseball or the NBA, if you have a great draft and bring in five or six starters, you can be a playoff team the next year. Seattle on the precipice of being that. But they've got a formula. It's pretty clear. They hit a home run in the second round with Kenneth Walker. Lean into him. When he's been healthy, they run the ball. Limit the exposure of Geno. They don't want him throwing 38, 42, 45. Don't want that. Same with Brock Purdy. Probably better off throwing 27 than 37 or 47. It works. Number two is, what did we learn? It's not all bad for the Jets, even though that was a complete dud performance by the staff and by the quarterback. It was clarity. Come on, the AFC quarterbacks right now, loaded. And Lamar Jackson's not even playing. Looks like Kenny Pickett can play a little bit. Mike White's not the guy. He's just not the guy. He's a great backup. And the Jets roster, to me, above average. They have the number one corner in the league, a top five to seven defensive front. Brees Hall will get healthy, a star running back. Um, I think their offensive line will get healthier. A couple of guys on that I like. They're a veteran quarterback and a left tackle away, in my opinion, from being a playoff team. Is Robert Sala the right coach? Well, he's done a great job with the defense. That's his side of the ball. The, G, uh, the GM missed it quarterback and missed it left tackle, but it's not an exact science. He's also had a lot of hits. Derek Carr's on the market. I'd go after him yesterday. Garoppolo's on the market. I'd consider it probably not. Tom Brady probably on the market. By the way, I'll throw this out there. I know it sounds crazy. I'd give Kirk Cousins a call. I think Minnesota is worn out. Two biggest games of the year, he was awful. He was awful. This team has a lot of good players. This isn't the Giants where they're pretending Daniel Jones is great and they have a rebuild roster. This is a really good roster. This is a really good roster. Left tackle quarterback. But yesterday is a great example. To get clarity, sometimes it's painful. Come on, Jets. Burrow, Herbert, what if Carr stays? Mahomes, Josh Allen, Lamar comes back. Mike White? Really? How good do you have to be on defense, special teams, and coaching to overcome that? Yesterday is a great example. Biggest game of the year. Engulfed over his skis. Not ready. It's okay. We got five great quarterbacks in the NFL that are young and in their prime, and probably four to five other ones that are really, really good, not in their prime. Mike White's not the guy. J Mac with the news. No, 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 no. Turn on the news. This is the herd line. You wince when I said. Let me Kirk just say Cousins. Happy New Year before I come after you <laughs> for for a hand we're hammering my Jets. Listen, um, <sighs> let's not give Seattle too much credit for this win, okay? Let's be real about their game plan, Colin. You watch that game. They did not attack the Jets' cornerbacks. Seattle wide well, receivers. Would you? Five catches for thirty-three w- yards. Would you? No, they had a great game plan. They're going to, we're going to throw to tight ends and running backs out of the backfield. Yeah. Jets linebackers and safeties couldn't cover anybody. Yeah. But that's Salah's department, the defense. No Salah braiding for j <laughs> on Sunday. It was, I will say this. The Vikings game, whatever. The Jets game was. They laid an egg. Oh, it was a 60 yard run on the first play from scrimmage. Yeah, it was. Seattle up 17 3 before I could sit down with my pizza. A little frustrating, but I'm at, it's out of my system. It's over. Season's done. We're, we're onward to the quarterback. By the way, Kirk Cousins, come on, okay. stop it. All He's right. not leaving Minnesota, okay? All right. All right, let's start with uh, Tampa Bay, Colin. Bucks clinched a spot in the playoffs with a come-from-behind 30-24 to win over the Panthers. By the way, Tampa trailed this game 14-0 at home, 21-10 why they, at home. Why did they not double Mike Evans more? Oh, well, did we'll you get notice to that shortly. That? Brady had a season-high 432 yards connected with Evans on three TDs, two of them super long. Colin, I I just put this out there. On Friday, I told you and the audience that the top two cornerbacks for Carolina were out. Remember, J.C. Horn and Jackson both did not play. Right. You know who they put on Mike Evans? C.J. Henderson, former number one pick. He's bounced around to like five teams. He got 
destroyed by and, Mike Evans and, on straight go patterns. And there was no help behind him. No help. I couldn't no. figure out what Carolina yeah. was doing. It's I know the every, same yeah. play over and over. Everybody wants Steve Wilk to keep the job. I was just talking to some people coming in. He's not keeping the job in Carolina. He's not the guy. Not with that it's, owner. No. Now, D'Amico Ryan's at San Francisco. We'll see if uh, that's the guy for the job. But yeah. Steve Wilkes, a total letdown. And Sam Darnold was pretty good. Yeah, solid game. But again, the turnovers. Two fumbles well, and a pick. Sam's going to give you the ball back. I was so close to doing a right wrong or right on Sam Darnold. But in the end, he yeah. turned the ball over. You had that written at like, what, 3.30 yesterday? Oh, I, yeah. oh East 3.30. Coast time. You're like, oh, oh one <laughs> Darnold, that was right. <laughs> you were all cooking up that. Listen, uh, I, I just put this out there, though. Mike Evans went 11 games without a touchdown. Then he beats like a guy off the street. No. They had let Josh me Norman starting in the secondary. Let, let me ask you. Let, this is not a great win for Tampa. What is Tampa? Are they They're a not one a good in, team. I I'm telling you right now, I'm betting Dallas. Oh, in, so, in am first round so am I. So I know I. everybody's going to say, well, Tampa, they no, went. No, no. They're not good. Uh, Todd Bowles, Byron Lefwich. I, I'm just, I'm not in on Tampa. And by the way, um, I think I texted you this. That we'll, we'll get to it later in the show. I got, I got a good take on All right. that division next year. Okay. Tampa's going down. Have you looked at how many free agents they have, Colin? Oh, yeah. It's like and, seven starters on defense and, probably not coming and back. And Brady has always been very calculated. He knows that. He's By, out of there. Byron Leftwich, who what quarterback's gonna want to come? Okay, he's, and play? Brady is out of Tampa. He's yeah. and he's not retiring. You can no, listen no. to that Jim Gray podcast. He's playing next year. Now, by the way, did you see what a quarterback who knows McDaniel's system looked like against the best defense in the league? I'm not saying Stidham's a guy, but when you know McDaniel's offense, you can cook with some gas there. <laughs> Devontae Adams look good. Uh speaking of not cooking, Colin, oof. Philadelphia Eagles. Well, I could, this was they're bad. A, they're a little beat up. Let's take a they're deep breath. They're very breath beat up, and I Lane Johnson is the key. Remember, three and ten without him. Now three and eleven. They drop uh, to a game to the Saints, twenty to ten. This was never close. I know. Like, I mean, Gardner Minshew. Uh, I apologize for saying he was in the same stratosphere as Jalen Hurts. There's a big drop off. I think there's a case for Jalen Hurts as the MVP. When you see how bad that offense looked with Well, Minshew. I know, but it's hard to win it when your argument is, hey, I didn't play, but my team needs me. Mahomes is playing. Burrow's playing. Well, okay, I'll just toss this out there. This was the first time they were shut out in the first half all season. They had their, fir- their fewest first downs in the first half in seven years. They had two first downs in the first half against the Saints, Colin. This is a Saints team that's not good. Like, I, this is a bad look for the Eagles. They're limping in. Uh, I saw a defensive end go down. Josh Sweat was carted that. off. Now, what's the latest on him? He's done. I, I don't think they anticipated him. For the year? Him, but likely. Wow. I mean, he's definitely not playing this week against the Giants. Well, yeah, no, I know that. No but... Lane Johnson, no Avante Maddox. Mm, now, no. the Eagles can can still set the NFL sack record, uh, by the way, Brand- next week. That's something to watch. Brandon Graham and company, they're good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't. Have we gotten word if Brian Dable is sitting his guys next week? Because they can't move out of the six. I don't think they're going to hand this game to Philly. Somebody texted me that Dable historically plays his guys in the preseason when other coaches pull back. So I don't know that Dable's taking his foot fully well, off think, the gas. No, I think if you're if you're Brian Dable, this offense needs reps. No, Daniel we'll not Jones, Saquon Barkley. We'll rest Saquon. No, I rest <laughs> yeah, Saquon, yeah. but everybody else. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, again, if somebody's banged up, you can rest. But um, no, I think he, you know, he, uh, Belichick's history is he just played dudes. If you think everybody thinks instinctively because football's so physical, that um, time off is great. Last year, Green Bay, Tennessee had a bye, lost oh, at yeah. home. Also, did you watch the defenses in the bowl games that had a month off? They were terrible. Oh, the goodness, tackling, yeah. the tackling in the Michigan TCU game, the tackling Ohio State Georgia was atrocious. Yeah. Why? They have too much time yeah. off. If you're good, play football. It's not baseball, everyday sport, but rest. Doesn't necessarily help. Get out there every six, seven days and hit. I do wonder about the Eagles. Are they still your favorite in the in the NFC? No, I, um, if San Francisco, if Philly, I if Philly, I think San Francisco is by far and away the best roster in the league. By far and away yeah. the best roster. We'll see if Lane Johnson comes back. I, I I don't know that they if Philly wins their first game. If they have a bye and you got a lot of guys getting back. I'm not feeling great about Philly. They, maybe they did peak too early. You had that stat, remember a couple weeks ago, about teams that are the last one to be undefeated? It's often, that stat's often tied to the healthiest team. Yeah. So the Niners were beat up early, now they're healthy. The Eagles were healthy for eight weeks, now they're beat up. Which would you rather yeah. be? I'd rather be the healthy team now, San Francisco, because yeah. their defense didn't play well yesterday. But their offense, all the dudes. They got so many weapons. Yeah, by the way, uh, last year, Rams in the Super Bowl run, offensive line, 
one of the healthiest units in the league all season. Final story, my main man, Kenny Pickett, boy, came through for me last night. <laughs> Colin, I got to say, Steelers still alive, you know, faint playoff hopes, but a great 